Virgo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So, um, where do we place you right now? Because there is a full moon coming up in Cancer. And Cancer is naturally your 11th house. So, <laughs> what, what does that do? Well, full moons mark completion, Virgo. And that's not to say endings as in, fuck you, goodbye. No, it's the part of endings as in, I've actually emotionally let go of something. Really. Not like giving up, like trying to convince yourself that you're done. Actually being done. Now, because it's happening in your 11th house, it could be actually being okay with letting a friendship go or um, letting a group go, something that you belonged to for a while. Um, it could also be about letting go of the need to not change because the 11th house is the house of of change, of rebellion, of, of standing up for something that meant a great deal to you. Maybe it just doesn't mean anything to you anymore. Of feeling emotionally done, like I've done all that I can do, so I'm okay with moving on to something else. Okay, not just in okay, is I'm actually ready to. I wanted to think about, um, I believe that what else is happening big time? Well, Mercury is going into retrograde in Aquarius. Um, it, Mercury is in retrograde, but it's going in retrograde in Aquarius. And that for you is, yeah, I'm going to count. I'm going to count. Your sixth house, sixth house of health. Sixth house of wellness. Sixth house. Sixth house is really what you normally, um, what you normally rule. Sixth house. Mercury going retrograde in the sixth house. So definitely expect a bunch of stuff to come up, especially in terms of your wellness. Those things that you have let slip. Um, now, they're not coming up to hurt you or destroy you. They're coming up so that you don't get even more weakened or ruined or injured. But instead, you uh, get reminded, hey, you've got to fix this. You've got to do something about it. And in a way that, you know, um, in a way that hopefully will, it'll irritate the shit out of you. But it will also enable you to do something about it. Also, a sense of healing. There could be things coming back from the past or having conversations, especially with friends, that kind of close things up and help to heal a situation and allow you to move on from it. And then the other major house is your one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I don't have this all in my head, is your fifth house. Now, your fifth house is where um, the sun and Pluto is combust, the sun, and uh, there's a sun, Pluto, Virgo conjunction, not Virgo, Venus conjunction, and Venus is in retrograde until the end of uh, January. So, Ooh, that is a lot of shifts in your heart space and understanding who you are through how you love and what you love and what matters most to you in your life. And if you find that your priorities are shifting, I want you to promise something to me, Virgo, that you're not going to feel disappointed in yourself as if you couldn't make something work. This is definitely a time for you to allow those shifts to happen and realize I've just grown beyond them. You know, and, and I'm supposed to. This is a part of I'm not supposed to be the same person. I'm not supposed to stay the same. And anything that has stayed the same, any repetitive cycle that you have been stuck in, um, you will be given chances to heal. You will be having conversations that actually put it in your face and say, you need to fix this in a way that you can't deny it or manipulate yourself around it. Remember, Mercury will, Mercury will be in retrograde, which can make your normally very agile and very um, um, sharp mind and quick wit um, slow down a little bit. So 
things will get past you, past your offensive line that wouldn't normally get past. And the universe knows it and it's doing it on purpose because your offensiveness, whatever your offensive line has, has cleverly blocked you from, you actually need to deal with it now. So yeah, definitely expect this to be um, a time that is not the, it's not going to be the easiest or gentlest, but it also, but it is going to be, I think, liberating. And um, you'll be glad for it when it's oh, not. You'll be glad, you'll be glad for it when it's over. You'll be glad that it all happened because I, if you had a choice, you would find a way to avoid it. You won't be able to avoid this stuff, and um, you really shouldn't have been avoiding it, or you really can't avoid it anymore. And it will change your life that you actually confront it, and you'll be very glad that it all happened. These realizations. So yes, we're gonna get into tarot. This uh, Virgo is your weekly astrology. For, no, this is your weekly tarot card reading. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you love this video, please remember to like it and then share it on your social media platforms and. And subscribe to the channel ring that bell and select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content Virgo I am doing something special now and that is whatever zodiac sign gets the highest extended reading uh, ext like purchases the most extended readings I'm gonna do an extra live reading just for that zodiac sign um, um, every single week and that live reading will be me doing one answer uh, one card, one question, one card answer readings for everybody online. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, give you free readings to say thank you. So if you are the Zodiac sign, I will tell you and I will tell you the time and date it's going to be so that you and only this Zodiac sign will know. And that's just how it's kind of kind of be hidden in plain sight so that uh, the people that deserve the rewards get the rewards. So FYI, that's happening on the channel now. There's now a cha channel memberships that are happening with lots of behind the scenes stuff and fun times with me that other people will not get access to. But everything else is going to stay the same. And thank you so much for your growing views it's been fantastic so now let's get into your tarot card reading every once in a while you gotta talk shop virgo you just gotta do it virgo 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 you know with all of that stuff happening in your fifth house uh, if something has been growing inside of you and bothering you, especially in your romantic relationships, you're not going to be able to keep it in. You're not going to be able to, you're going to, you're like, you're literally, it's just going to kind of like burst out of you. Just FYI, we have, ooh, let spirit be your guide, hawk energy. So expect messages, especially expect messages from your spirit guides. Look out for different animals that will be coming into your life to deliver messages to you or to, to yeah, definitely say, say things to you or bring your attention to something. So it's not always just the message or the accepted message of animals because a lot of different Native American tribes or different, you know, old pagan um pagan beliefs etc etc believe different animals represent different things so it really all depends on what continent you're on but ultimately it's so it's beyond than just the meaning of the animal it's more the animal's trying to bring your attention to something so definitely expect those kind of communications popping through a sense of look at something bigger look at it from a higher perspective try to try as much as you can to be objective in this situation so you th see things from a wider angle and then we have bring a gentle touch and that's all it's trying to say to you bring a gentle touch is Virgo energy it's a healing energy it's a sense of now you're seeing things now that you're seeing things from an objective perspective you're not blaming yourself. You're not, you know, you're not casting one person against the other. Now that you've kind of got an aerial view of things, you're starting to melt a little bit and, and, and soften a little bit. Um, why? Because you're recognizing the humanity in the situation. You're, you're seeing things in a way that, oh, this could have been me right? Um, or maybe you're the one that's kind of speaking up and saying, this is how we've got to look at things. You know, this is, this is how we've got to see things like delivering that message of let's zoom out for a second. Let's, let's not keep talking at each other, but instead let's zoom out and 
and recognize ourselves in the people that we're beating up on. It's that kind of energy. Virgo. 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 Mm. Virgo. 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 Wow, don't want to talk, huh? Virgo. The miracles are endless is here. This is cow spirit. This is Taurus energy. You've, you've, you've done really well and open to infinite possibilities. So in terms of financials or things that's going on financially, there is a sense of doors opening for you. This could be careers prospects, but I think it's more that you have the money, you have the funds, you're secure financially. And this is coming up a little bit, a little bit in the past. So it's almost a sense of opening yourself because you can afford to open yourself because uh, you know that you're secure enough to be able to, or doors are opening for you that weren't open before because now you have the funds in your banking account, right? Or something, a purchase that you made, an item that you have been waiting for finally coming in. Um, yeah, finally, yeah, fi either finally coming into you or finally being in at like at, at your reach. So, um, this is a really not a this isn't a good case. So, so Venus is in retrograde in Capricorn and um, and Mercury is going into ret retrograde. It is not a great time to buy a luxury item, but this is implying that there is something um, that you were open up to because the finances are in. So it is a really good time to start browsing. It is a good time to start looking. It is a it's a good time to go house shopping. It's a good time to go car shopping not to make the purchase or sign on the dotted line. You don't want to do that until, first of all, any bigger items after January 29th, and then Mercury Retro's get, rate's going to last for like a month and a half too, two months. So you don't want to sign on the dotted line of any big purchases until that's over with. But ultimately, you are going to be able to like, oh, doors are open for you, right? I'm, in, I'm invited to things I wasn't invited to for, um, invited to before. Um, um, what, like I said, that could also be career advancement or development that's actually helped you to kind of like see things from a, a different perspective. You know, when tensions stop in ourselves in different ways, it's like the stressors, uh, external stressors are, when the external stressors are kind of relieved, it's actually easier for us to do some healing. Hold on. You know, because it's not about money, is it? It's not about, it's not about money. Money doesn't make you happy, but certainly having it makes things less stressful so that you, you know, so that you can kind of decompress over other things. Um, coming out underneath is, um, you see clearly now, um, this is in reverse. So there's definitely a sense of, um, I think turning your head away or not wanting to see or or not seeing something that you actually liked, you know, having been looking around and, and being able to look around, but not really finding something that you actually like what you saw in front of you was things that you constantly wanted to reject. It could mean, yes, a representation of you rejecting the truth. That could also be for some of you rejecting the truth. Um, but I think more or less it's like not really seeing something that you really wanted. Stag, take the lead is here. Stag is a very exceptional energy. It's a realization or an understanding of a higher responsibility of being able to do something that maybe you wouldn't have been able to do before, um, as in donate to a charity or take the first step and make an investment in something that matters. It, that it's, it's not just, maybe it's not just about you, but it's also taking, taking the first steps forward and kind of like trusting your instincts at this point, because Stag is definitely a messenger directly from the great spirit directly from the divine um take the lead take the initiative 
you be the one to do it first, right? Um, you be the one that has to step out in front and make the commitment. But make the commitment for what is really what I want to understand. No. No, it's this still. Make the, like, like what are they taking the lead on? Virgo, what is Virgo taking the lead on? Uh, snake, time to heal. So you're taking the lead in your healing, your healing process. Um, or, yeah, in terms of making a, like I said, making a situation healthier, this could also be a social issue. But also not just like, this, is, this isn't just comments on Facebook or reposting things from Twitter. This is actually being able to kind of, like I said, make an awareness happen openly like distribute that awareness to more people than just you know you know having these conversations online um it's also taking steps to heal a part of you or an aspect of you that has needed some um, healing so that could be your actual physical health mental health or an issue right an issue um that has been growing online maybe now seeing things maybe having the time it's like you're ready to talk to somebody now. You weren't ready before, but you're ready to talk to somebody now because you kind of like, maybe you've cooled down a little bit. You've gotten become more rational. You know, we're not always ready, right? Like when it's not, happy birthday, Doug Denny. We're not always, it's, it's, it's not always the right time. This, this would be the right time. Um, a spirit has your back, which means it is universally driven, um, spirit has your back also means looking at things from the higher perspective. It also means a sense of righteousness. You know that you're doing the right thing in taking the leap of faith in, in making this move, uh, take a leap of faith. Spirit has your back. It's time to heal. Stag, take the lead. So Virgo, even if I'm telling you, it's almost like you're, you're not, it's not even going to be a fear factor because you're not going to have the fear. Certainty like this comes but once in a lifetime. You are going to be so certain that this is the road that you're going to be moving on. There won't even be a hesitation in you. You know this is the right way. You know this is the right direction. This is equal, balanced, like feeling really certain about a situation now. Okay. Okay. But what needs to come through with this? Virgo. Virgo. Wings of light is here, but it's come out crooked. There seems to be a sense of not feeling protected or, or yeah, not feeling protected, feeling let down, feeling like um, you were kind of overexposed uh, because somebody wasn't there for you. Um, not necessarily that they worked against you or that you were really alone, but feeling like you had to do a lot on your own. This is very, this is Capricornian energy. So is Eagle. Eagle could also represent the government, could also represent authority or some sort of leadership in your life that needs to be healed or is giving you the authority to actually start making more executive decisions, making executive decisions um, about your direction, the next direction. Ooh, we have power here. Hmm. This is a tempting young man. And this is a soulmate. Okay. So it's almost like maybe you've held yourself back over a certain situation because it didn't, it, there was a lot of things that needed to be cleared up. Um, but ultimately, um, this is, it's, it looks like a, a younger man, this uh, soulmate, some sort of soulmate energy, a sense of um, just being really drawn to somebody, um, somebody maybe who helped you heal or like it, it, <clears throat> It's almost like when Stella got her groove back. It's like Virgo getting your groove back. That's what I feel. And it doesn't have to be a forever situation so much as it is a situation that helps to reinstill your sense of power. So even maybe some getting somebody's attention, noticing you, or going ahead and actually trusting yourself enough to say, I'm going to go after this. I'm tired of browbeating myself like I shouldn't have a right to this. You feel like you do have a right to this, so you're moving forward with it. How is it going to work out? That's what I want to know. How is it going to work out, bitches? How is it going to work out? 
Um, ooh, the wheel of karma is changing. So it's like, it's good luck. It's a good time to like, maybe finish up this cycle. Temperance is here. This is Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, but Cancerian energy is also in the future. Um, there is a sense of movement forward. I do have to say, and there is a sense of finding a way to make this situation work and deciding to make progress with it. Definitely by the time, I don't know if somebody's coming back into your life by cancer season or just the sense of this cancerian moon is allowing you to release any leftover or residual emotions that you had so you can move on to something else finally releasing anything that you held on to that held you back that could be as well there's another set of cards that i want to pick from here close your eyes real tight for a second i've got to turn this light on close your eyes close your eyes Fucking hurts, right? <laughs> Shit. It's true. But the sun drops so quick here. Oh, Virgo, who is this? Mm, the tangled web we weave. Message in a bottle. You've been wanting to say something for a while. There's a message coming through that's kind of like, it's almost like, it's almost like you do have something to say. You do have something to say. Fork in the road. When you get this message... It's like a message that didn't come into you. It's now it's finally getting to you. That makes you change your mind and switch everything. It makes you realize, oh shit, this is actually an opportunity for me. Let's go to tarot. I will see you guys. The link is below.